Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about how we can add colour, expression and personality to your voice uh, in the phrases that you sing. There are so many things you can do and I really encourage you to listen to lots and lots of recordings and lots of great singers and glean as much as you can. But we're going to be talking about a little handful of them today. Now the first one we can use to add a lot of emotion works really well for perhaps a sad song or a song that we really want to make seem quite heartfelt and it's what we call a cry. Cries are really effective to really bring uh, a ballad alive. For instance, if I was to sing the first line of I Can't Make You Love Me by Bonnie Raitt. Uh, turn down the lights, turn down the bed. Okay, there's the phrase. Sounds okay, thank you very much. But uh, what we want to do is add a little cry. And it might be right at the beginning of that phrase that I want to have it. See if you can spot it. Turn, turn, turn is what I'm going to try and do. So turn down the lights, turn down the bed. So turn, turn, just that tiny little bit of emotion. I'll sing it in context again. Turn down the lights, turn down the bed. There you go, a cry. You've got the same kind of thing in a country, love to use this, uh, this kind of style a lot. What we call cry or even flips comes from those yodel backgrounds. But it's a quarter after one, I'm all alone and I need you now. Did you hear it? Right in the top of that phrase, I'm all alone, quarter after one. And what I'm doing is just allowing my voice to release at that crucial point. It gives it that sense of expression, that sense of sadness and desperation. It's a quarter after one, I'm all alone and I need you now. You might want to start putting them in everywhere, but use them in a limited way, otherwise they'll get a bit over-egged. So this next one we call an inflection. This is a very simple inflection. Inflections come in all sorts of forms, but this is just one that you can put on the ends of phrases just to add a little bit of style. I'm gonna take Katy Perry's firework for this one. So baby, you're a firework. What I've done is just done a little fall off or a little inflection at the end there. I've allowed a nice clean cut off at the end, choked the note just so it's nice and clean. Uh, but I've added that little extra little bit of style at the end of the phrase. So, baby you're a firework, come and tell us what you're worth. You've got those, those lovely little inflections at the end there just to add a little bit of personality. So this next one we're going to use is a lovely simple one but very very effective. Uh, this is what we call an aspirate sound or a breathy sound. It's really lovely for softening up some of those verses and choruses that you uh, might want to just make a little bit more sensitive and a little bit more fragile. Now, some people, when they go to sing breathy music or breathy singing, they make their, their voices very small. They lower their soft palate, they constrict their throat, and actually, that doesn't get the best result. If you want to get your tuning right and get the best out of your resonance, you want to really release the back of your throat, get a nice big space in there. So if I was to sing something like uh, Taylor Swift, Safe and Sound from the Hunger Games movie. I remember tears streaming down your face said I never ever let you go. I can add a little bit more breath to that to make it a bit more sensitive. I remember tears streaming down your face said I never ever let you go. I could even add some of that cry that we explored. I remember tears streaming down your face said I never ever let you go. That little bit of breath in there adds that sensitivity and that lightness to that phrase. It makes it really heartfelt and very sensitive. So that's breathiness, aspirate sound. And finally, we're going to talk about spoken fall-offs. These are really, really effective. I'm going to use a great new tune that's on the charts at the moment. It's Take Me to Church uh, by Hosier. And uh, he sings it with these lovely fall-offs that add a lot of expression to these phrases. So, my love has got humor, humor. That's what we call a flick there, humor. She's a giggle at the funeral. Everybody's disapproval. So notice at the end of all those phrases, he's got these very lovely, very natural sounding spoken fall-offs. 
They just add that sense of really relaxed, easy sound to the phrases. My lover's got humor. She's a giggle at a funeral. Everybody's disapproval. All those lovely bits of style add so much personality to your phrases. So we've talked a little bit about inflections, fall-offs, cries, those little flicks there. And hopefully, if, as you add these to your own vocal phrases, you'll find that your songs start to come to new life.